G'day guys, welcome back. I am trialing a new product today. Uh, it is Montmartre Paints. Uh, I think Montmartre is pretty much an international company. So uh, hopefully everyone can, can get it. I just bought one, two, three, four, five colours in my favourite, blues and greens. Um, I got a white. So this is the Montmartre Studio Acrylic. It's not the Montmartre Dimensions that I've tested previously. Um, I wasn't that keen on the dimensions for this particular style of art, I guess, for pouring. It was a little bit thick and like oily. So I'm trying these ones. Um, as I said, I got the white, I got the black, and I got turquoise, phthalo blue, knocked my canvas, and, oh, it's heavy, sap green. Not really a fan of sap green. Maybe there's a different green available. We don't seem to be able to get all the colours in Australia that you guys get in the States, so... I bought those colours, as I said, and I used my phthalo blue with a touch of black to make this dark black, a uh, dark blue. That's the normal phthalo blue, and that's the one with a touch of black to make navy. And then I added white to my phthalo blue, and I got that light blue. So I made, I've got three different blues there from the phthalo blue. Um... And then I've got the black, the white, and the sap green. So I'm going to try these out, and I'm going to do a five flip cut pour. I haven't tried these paints before. I have tried just the white with the global paints to see if that would stop my global from splitting. And yes, it worked beautifully. Um, that's one of that's the one I did. One of them with just the um, Montmartre white. So, yeah, it turned out really pretty. So, I'm trying out just Montmartre today. And I'm using my glue and water mix to see how that goes with it. So, this one is 65% glue, 35% water. Um, again, I did find that the different colours were different consistencies. The white was really thin I had to add more paint to get it to the right thickness the blue and the turk sorry the green and the turquoise were equal amounts of pouring medium to paint and then the blues and the black I had to add more pouring medium and less paint so they were quite thick so it wasn't just a one-to-one -one. you can say mix one-to-one -one, but each color is a bit different so you just have to Trial and error, really, to get that little mound. Uh, let me see if I can show you. I'll show you on the turquoise, actually. I'll climb up and show you. I've moved my ladder. I've put it behind. <laughs> oh, dear. Now it feels weird. Hang on. I'm going to move it back, back to the side. It feels weird climbing up behind the tripod. I'm usually here on the side. Uh, let me see if I can show you. There we go. My mound. It's like my mound. Sits on top for three seconds. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's gone. That's how I like it. That's what I do with my global. So I'm just doing the same with the Montmartre and see what happens. I'm going to put three drops of spot on treadmill silicone in each, except the black and the white. One, get in there. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I was only going to do a smaller canvas. I made up my blues. And then I thought, oh, I've got the black and the green. I'm just going to do the black and the green as well. So then I had to do a bigger canvas because I had extra paint then. It mixes really well, like it's really smooth and creamy. Seems like a lovely paint looks highly pigmented just from looking at it but it doesn't say on the bottles you know if it's opaque or semi-transparent or transparent i wish they would put that on there if it's possible i might have to speak to them 
where is the head office of Montmartre? I know we've got one in Australia, but where, where do they actually come from? So I wouldn't mind speaking to them. I don't like their bottles. They're so hard. Like, like I can't squeeze, you know, I can't squeeze to get the paint out. It's really frustrating. And the, it comes with a pump, but I can't get it to work. So they need to change their bottles. Montmartre, can you change your bottles and have a soft plastic, please, so that we can squeeze the bottles? Just pour them out and squeeze them. Pretty please. Okay, two layers of each colour. Just separating the light, dark, light, dark. This one's got white in it, so I didn't want to put it next to the white paint. So I've just gone light, dark, light, dark. Look how lovely they pour out. So pretty. They just feel velvety. If a paint can feel velvety, it feels velvety. And I think I've got them at the same consistency as each other. You do need to have the paints at the same consistency for flip cut pours. I hope it works. Because there's a lot of paint here. <laughs> oh dear. Me and my experiments, hey? I should just experiment on a little canvas, shouldn't I? But no, I go to a big one. 12 by 24, straight up. 12 by 24 inch, 30 by 60 centimetre, this canvas is. Go big or go home, hey, I reckon. What do you all reckon? In goes the white. And these are my favourite colours, so if I'm going to try out paints, it's going to be in my favourite colours, my blues and greens. Well, I don't really like this green much. Seems more of like a green oxide-y kind of a colour. I'm sure they've got another green. It just wasn't available from where I bought my paints from. And I don't know why we don't have all the same colours that you guys in the States have. I don't know. Maybe we need to get onto the suppliers and get them to bring us more colours in. Because I know there are a lot more colours in Montmartre, in the studio acrylic. I just don't know why we don't have them. I don't know. But if this works, then maybe Montmartre will increase their sales. <laughs> Companies do tend to increase their sales when I advertise their products on my channels. But uh, still, nobody wants to sponsor poor little Julie pour pouring her heart out. I did ask a couple of companies and they just no, didn't reply to my emails. And, okay, don't then. But, you know, if they want me to advertise their products they and get sales from my videos, then they need to help me out too. Sponsor me. Send me some paints. Happy to use them for them. Love navy. I use the same recipe for the navy that I use for my, my deep space. So, same. I'm not going to have any blue to go in that last one. It's okay. I'd rather have lots of navy in these ones, and that one can have maybe a little bit more of something else. Get it all out. <laughs> back to the end one I'll put something else there see I haven't got much of this turquoise left either I must have put too much in my first layer I was kind of hurrying I've got a lot of layering to do and I know you guys are waiting for me so I try to hurry probably didn't put quite the same amounts in each cup but what I'll do is I'm going to put some blue on top of that one and some blue on that one and some blue on that one and then that's my blue gone i don't want this dark blue on the black so i won't do that is that black no that's navy i'll put some white on that one just change them up they don't have to all be the same you all by you know by all means have different layers in your cups okay so now that one's got the turquoise 
that one's got the turquoise and that one's got the turquoise so you can go there I'll move that over and you can have some white and you can have some white do you guys talk to your paintings <laughs> And you can have a bit of white and then I'll just put some green on the others because I'm not that keen on the green I just wanted a little bit of it so I won't mind if it's not in all of them twice they've already got one layer of green in them so maybe just there and there just to bring my cups up to the same amount that they've They've all got the same amount of paint in them. That kind of divides them, doesn't it? Righto. Oh, what a mess I've made. Clean my hands off. Okay, are we ready to flip? Let's do this. One, two. There's my bar in the middle there. Three, four, and five. Now I like them to go right up to the top if they can, as high as possible. So that's already covered. I don't like blobs of paint. I find that they stay as blobs and then I have a weird little pattern. So I'd rather smooth them over. Okay, I really hope I haven't made my mix too thick. Tiny little cell there. But look, it's the same as I did with my global. Depending on what happens after I flip them over, um, that'll sort of tell me when to torch. So if I haven't got many cells popping up straight away, that, that way, you know, my mix is going to be a bit thick, I'll, make, I'll torch earlier so that I can stretch the cells out. But if I flip over and I get cells straight away, then my mix is going to be relatively thin and I'll torch later so that I don't overstretch everything. Does that make sense to you guys? Right. Paint's released already. Let's go for this. Oh, look at those colours, you guys. Oh, look at that green stripe. Hey, green. Now I do like you, after all. Now I'm going to cover my little corners just with some leftover paint just so that my corners are done and dusted. It's not spreading too much. So it looks as if it's quite thick, doesn't it? Because it's not like spreading and encroaching onto this cup. Right, let's do this one. Oh my. That's a lot of green. I did have the green at the top, didn't I? I would have thought that the when I tipped it over, the green would have been on the bottom. Wouldn't it? You know, if you tip it over and the green was on the top, it would be on the bottom. Surely to goodness. Okay, it is what it is. Might look quite pretty having two greenies there and the rest blueies. Now, oh, this one, was this the one that didn't have the extra green in it? I think so. Because it's, um, it's really pretty, isn't it? Those that like green will obviously love these. Now this one, I'm expecting to have a lot of green like that one. And so it does. Now this one should be the same as that one with the green stripe through it, I'm assuming. And there's the stripe kissing up against that green, which probably isn't a good idea. Stop it, you two. Stop that. Canoodling in public. <laughs> oh dear. All right, and I need to cover this. Um, which one's got a little bit of extra paint? This one has got a little bit of paint still in it. Most likely going to tip this off anyway, but let's just cover the corner. All right. Now there's quite a big gap there, but resist the urge to pour extra paint from your cups into there. Just throw them out or wash them or whatever you're going to do with them. Don't put muddy paint in there. It's not worth it, you guys. 
We've got enough paint on here. I've actually got 850 grams of mixed paint. Um, it's almost 30 ounces. If it was 900 grams, it would be 30 ounces. So it's a lot of paint. We, we don't need any extra. If you've got too much paint on there, you can't move everything around because it's all already touching. But this is the area that I've got to cover first. So I'm going to spin it around. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. Look at those colours. Okay, um, so I'm going to tilt my usual, walk it back and forth and try and get this area covered, okay? So that's what I'm going to do first. Try not to lose too much paint as I go. Come on, you. You need to move. Move it, move it. Trying to get it covered without losing too much paint off the edges. There we go. It's finally happening. You need to use the weight of the paint to um, you know, get it moving. You can kind of help it a little bit because everything else has gone over. Oh, it's being difficult. Yes, you are. You're being difficult. All right, it's over. So you've got plenty of paint. Now turn it around. Round you go. And I know I did tip a lot off, but that was because I was struggling to get that middle section. I haven't even covered you yet. Hey, look at you. You're not covered yet. I'll have to try and get to you later. Otherwise, I'll have to just pull something else there. Now, the one of the paint's all sitting up here already, uh, still, because I've tipped it that way. So let's just bring it back to the middle a little bit before we torch. Uh, where's my torch? Oh, I've, got, I've got paint everywhere. It's because I touched it, turning it around. Now, let's see how reactive this paint is to torching. So start up really high. Go around in little circles. Oops, I've got it close in a couple of areas already. Concentrate, woman. Concentrate on what you're doing. It's a big painting, you don't want to ruin it. Go slow. Don't get too close. You guys are telling me too, hey, go slow, don't get close. You can come back again and go over the areas again that you need to. Don't get too close. Concentrating, concentrating. <laughs> I want a pretty painting. It's a little bit thick, my paint. Starting to caterpillar. If the paint's too thick, it will caterpillar. So it's starting to do that. See how small my cells are? And because it's starting to caterpillar, as in a few cells joining up in a row, that's telling me that my mix is a bit too thick. And I'm having trouble getting cells from torching and torching and torching. And I'm having a bit of trouble getting the cells through. So, Yes, my mix is a bit, and I can smell paint burning. <laughs> oh, I've got a bit too close. This green must be um, a transparent, uh, not a transparent, an opaque, I think, because nothing wants to pop through it. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I'm, I'm going to stretch it, and then I'll come back to it and see if um, I can get anything else up. But, yeah, I have got a few caterpillars happening, and I only get that when my mix is too thick and the oil has trouble popping through and you can see how small the cells are too well i can so yeah too thick um i'll have to obviously this paint needs a little bit more pouring medium I need to go over the sides If 
you want to cover that side, they're just there. The weight of the paint needs to be here so that you can move it there. See that? That's where the weight of the paint is. No point having the weight of the paint somewhere else and you're trying to go to that section. It's just not going to work. Now I'm just going to walk it like I always do. I haven't got down here yet. I don't know that I can get down there. Let's try. Bring the weight of the paint to here. Get it to go over. It does what it's told, you know, the paint. It's pretty good. It does what it's told. If you want it to go somewhere, you just have to know how to manoeuvre your paint to get it to go into that direction. So there's a couple of areas that I've missed on the sides where I didn't um, do too well with my my tilting. I wasn't sure how much paint I was going to to have or how this paint would move. Uh, the colours are so vibrant, so vibrant. I just wish I'd added just a little splash of water to my mix. Just to thin it out. But look, this is my first time using it. I had no idea. I just sort of went with how I mixed up my other brand of paints. Um, but obviously this needs to be a touch thinner. Oh, the colours are just amazing. I'm going to see if I can... Oops. I want to see if I can come down to this corner at all. I've got a lot of paint on here. This was the green cup. And see how that's pushed into it? And because I had so much paint, that the green's not been able to get out. If you know what I mean? Because there was a lot of paint. So now where's the weight of my paint? There. Let's see if I can just take some of this paint off. It's moving really well. Let's see what I see if I can see what I can do. Push the limits here, eh? With this paint. Bring it back. See how far I can push it. Probably wasn't a very good idea, really. I don't want to get, you know, you don't want it to get too wobbly. But that's the size there of the cell that I was kind of hoping to get. I don't really think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can do too much to it. Let's see how much I can actually take off. Kind of straighten a few things up. Yeah, I tipped quite a bit off that then, didn't I? should have just left it but that's fine I wanted to see what it would do so that's that's looking better um, my cells are stretched out a little bit more um, yeah what do you think colors are really really pretty um, yeah just needed to thin it out just a touch more and then I think I would have been happy it would have flowed a bit easier let me cover my corners so I'll do that later. I'll do that off film because it's going to take me a while to cover them. But I'll take you down for a close up and see what you think of Montmartre, hey? Um, caterpillars. This one there. So there, I do have a few, and I I don't 
personally tend to get caterpillars but and I know why I'm getting them because my mix is too thick I only get it when a mix is too thick and then you have to torch too close uh, to get the oil to come up don't like that one there that's kind of a grayish one um, probably I might redo this love 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 the colors though but you know me I do like to experiment and if I'm not a hundred percent well I shouldn't say that. if I'm not 70 percent happy with it I'm gonna to want to go again so I'm gonna make up more colors I'm gonna have a, a coffee first because it's coffee o'clock it's 10 30 in the morning coffee o'clock um, I'll go and make a, make a cuppa uh, mix up some more paint um, I'm gonna make them thinner and I'm gonna go again but oh, these colors are amazing and I actually quite like the green in there now. It's not too bright, is it? It's more of a muted green. All right, let me take you down. Look at these cells. Look at the white rings around them. Really, really pretty cells. And let me turn my light off first quickly. There we go. I always forget to turn my light off. So that's it from my perspective. Now this is curved in here, um, yeah, a bit, bit too much paint on the surface. I couldn't, I couldn't stretch this one out because that was in the way. So that's what happens if you've got too much paint. So what did I say? I had 850 grams, yeah. Seven to 800 is perfect, so probably 750 would have been better. I tipped a lot of paint off. So I'll make up some more. And instead of going 60 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint, I'll just do 50 and 50. Got beautiful colour graduation. I like the order that I've poured the or layered the paints. So I'll have to do that again. Do my caterpillars. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> the blue one. It's like a dinosaur spine. So yeah, some of the cells are trying to come up, but because the mix is too thick, they just look like bullets there, those black ones. No rings around them. Whereas over here, they've got rings around them. So one of my colours was obviously thicker than the others. Not much happening in the green. Got bullets in the green. The green was obviously too thick. Over here as well, not a lot happening under the green. See, the cells are trying to come up. But uh, just not, not working all that well with that green. So yeah, really, really pretty colours though. So well done Montmartre and no splitting. Yay, <laughs> thank God for that, no splitting. All right, I'll uh, love you and leave you. I'll, as I said, I'll mix up more paints and I will be back. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.